Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and welcome back to another Zelda Breath of the Wild episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the Shoraha Shrine and show you how to get all the chests, and we're getting started right now. So, I was making my way up Death Mountain in hopes that I could take out Divine Beast Radanya, and I made my way up to Goron City. Once I was there, my little shrine indicator started beeping, and I found the Shea Masa Shrine. By the way, if you need help finding all the chests in that shrine, I've got a link to the walkthrough in the description. But I started looking around Shea Masa, and I found a mining cart that was sitting sort of behind and below that shrine. So, I hopped in, and I noticed a spot to put a bomb, and when I detonated it, the cart took me all the way around, through the lava, and I landed on the Isle of Rabak. And then once the cart stopped, I found myself at Shoraha Shrine. So once you're inside, you're presented with a large metal box with spikes. You'll use magnesis to grab onto the box, and you can move it up so you can pass underneath to the next part. Once you make your way underneath the box, you'll see a little spot where you can place the next flame, but we'll come back to that in just a second. So you'll take a left and you'll head up the stairs. And then you'll see two smaller metal boxes that you'll use magnesis to kind of align them in the middle, and then you can make your way to the top of the staircase. Once you're there, you'll find a torch, so pick the torch up and light it, and then make your way back down the stairs. You're going to place the flame in the next torch that we just passed up a minute ago. Then you're going to quickly turn around and you're hop back up to the top of the staircase, and then you're going to want to glide over to the first chest. And then once you're done there, you can just turn to the left and glide back down. Next, you'll want to get the wooden torch back out. You'll light it, and you're going to take it straight down to the end of the platform, avoiding any of the water, and then you'll crouch under the last water spout. You'll light the next torch, and then you'll need to catch one of your standard arrows on fire and shoot the next torch across the way. Once you do, a platform will raise and the water will stop behind you. So turn around, backtrack a little bit, and take a right to make your way up the staircase to the next part of the shrine. Once you get to the top of the staircase, you'll find a pressure plate. You'll step on it and then you'll have to have your magnesis ready because you'll have a gigantic metal spike ball coming right at you. So grab the metal spike ball and make your way up the slanted path. And then when you make a right, you'll encounter a platform with four enemies. All you have to do here is use the metal ball and you can easily take them out. Just swing it back and forth and knock those enemies out. You'll gather the items from the two chests and any leftover items the enemies may drop. Guys, if you're finding value in this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And then you can run back to where you came from and use the wooden torch once again to light it on fire, and then you'll transfer the flame to the next torch, which unlocks the gated entry. Now this next part can be done with or without arrows. I originally didn't have many arrows when I came into the shrine, so I opened this door by using stasis. Uh, I basically froze time on the right water spout, lit that flame, and then quickly turned around and lit the other flame. Otherwise, if you do have arrows, all you need to do is catch one on fire and shoot through both torches at the same time. Now before going to the next section, grab the torch and carry the blue flame with you. You'll see where to place it next fairly easily. Now the next part can probably be completed without arrows, but it's going to make it so much easier if you do it with the arrows. But all you need to do is light an arrow on the torch fire and then you're going to shoot an arrow through both moving torches as they both cross in the middle. And when you get them both just right, 
uh, your path will be obvious and you can simply glide over to the next part. Now, before going all the way over, uh, like I did, you can actually just stop on the second platform as you make your way across, and then you'll light another arrow and transfer the flame to the next torch. That next torch is sitting up on the platform that you're about to go to next. And then next you'll see a torch sitting on top of a metal box with a, with a rail that it can slide on. You'll light the torch and use magnesis to move the metal box along the rail. Then stop right before you get to a water spot, freeze the water spot with stasis, and then switch to magnesis to move the torch further along. Guys, leave me a comment below and let me know which part of this shrine was the toughest part for you. I'd just be really curious to know uh, where everybody's getting stuck. Jump across and use Magnesis to grab the treasure chest. And then eventually pull the torch all the way over to the platform you're standing on. Next, we're going to turn around, we're going to jump over into the air vent, and we're going to glide over to get the next chest. Then, once we're done here, we simply just jump back into the air vent and ride it over to the platform. Next, we're going to turn around, and we're going to kill the enemies before we continue to the next part. Once they're knocked out, run back to the torch on the metal box and carry a flame to the next part of the shrine. Make sure to transfer the flame to the next torch, then you're going to run over and grab the chest that's sitting right behind you. Next you'll be presented with several stone torches that are kind of sitting in a circle but it's fairly obvious what you need to do next. <laughs> 